We are born into a sinful world, and we have the choice to live our lives on our own, or we can invite the creator of the universe to guide us and to save us from our sins. All are welcome to the blessings of salvation, to whom those blessings are welcome. In Christ, there is enough for all and enough for each. Those satisfied with the world that see no need of Christ do not thirst. They are in no uneasiness about their souls. But where God gives grace, He gives a thirst after it. And where He has given a thirst after it, He will give it. Come to Christ, for He is the fountain opened. He is the rock smitten. Come to holy ordinances, to the streams that make glad the city of our God. Come to the healing waters. Come to the living waters. Come to the king's table. Isaiah 55 and 2 says, Come, all you are thirsty. Come to the waters. And you who have no money, come and buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without cost. For the gifts offered to us are such as no price can be set upon. The things offered are already paid for. For Christ purchased them at the full price of his own blood. All the wealth and pleasure in this world will not yield solid comfort and content to the soul. They do not satisfy even the appetites of the body for all is vanity and vexation. Let the disappointments we meet within the world help to drive us to Christ and to seek for satisfaction in Him only. And then, and not before, we shall find rest for our souls and our souls shall live for eternity.